hand! Wow, a lot of people really wanted me to talk about this. Some of you even threatened me if I talked bad about him. All right, it's cool, I'm on your side. But let's not waste any more time and jump straight into Grandad. Ew, wait a second. So for those of you who don't know, this is Grandad. Pretty much a weird-looking bootlegged version of Mario. No disrespect. Here's some backstory. There exists a lot, and I do mean a lot, of pirated Chinese bootlegged games on the NES. Specifically, ones involving Mario. Or, shall I say, Grandad. These games are not recognized by Nintendo at all, and are usually pretty weird. For example, Super Mario 11, or Mario Adventures 11. Jesus, this title screen is weird. However, it won't take long for you to find out that this is literally Adventure Island 3, just with Mario. Oh, Mario 16? Oh, oh no, you meant Joe and Mac. Mario 12? Psych! Yoshi's Cookie. Maybe I'll go into more depth on some of these games another time. But for now, we're looking at Seven Grandad. Huh. Yeah. Alright. I know that you all probably want me to say something like, Fleenstones? But I am not gonna do that, despite already doing it. Shoutouts to Vine Sauce. So right off the bat, we got, we, we got a few questions here. Such as, why is the Flintstones theme playing? Why is Fred Flintstone all up on Grandad? Why is this game called Seven Grandad? I feel like these are all questions that I won't get any answers to. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. This is the game. This is literally the game. Flintstones, the rescue of Dino and Hoppy. Of course, this version is much better. Why? Simple. Two words. Grandad. In terms of the actual game, there isn't really much to talk about. It's the Flintstones game, just with Mario. The actual Flintstones game goes for a lot on eBay. But again, the true star of the show is Grandad. This screen alone has become so iconic. Grandad's popularity is honestly unbelievable. I haven't seen anything this universally loved since the discovery of giant Reese's Cups. Hallelujah! But let's get back to this. Here's a beautiful gem, Grandad64. Well, that's definitely him, all right. All right, that's fine. This is exactly what I should have expected. Silva Gunner strikes again. But hey, do you need more Grandad? Of course you do. Why not have him as a Smash Bros character? Is this too much? Nah, probably not. But now, let's check out the unofficial, official Grandad game. And let us be graced with the presence of this glorious title screen. I love it so much. But before we begin, let's learn about the game's story. There's a story, you might ask? Of course, you stupid idiot! I didn't mean that. The days on Earth was peaceful. Violence was not an issue. All seemed fine. Until... The fatal moment. Oh jeez, what? A sudden meteolite crashed into Earth's orbit. That's never good. Ask the T-Rex how that went. Oh, but wait! It turns out that the meteor was actually a spaceship. Oh, okay. Carrying aliens that are now wanting to take over the world. But there is one hero who can save us. It's Grandad, in case you were wondering. So, that was the story, and now, here's the game! And you know what? It's not too bad! I'd say it's actually pretty fun! As you can tell, it's a side-scrolling, action-adventure, beat-em-up, competitive online MMORPG or something. It's so fun, and the music is rockin'! Uh-oh, 
boss time! Oh, man. Why am I laying the smack down on little baby Donkey Kong Jr. over here? Eh, whatever. Come here, you little punk. I'm gonna take you down. Oh, no. I regret everything. And now I'm over it. Next stage! There's a lot of skulls. Too many skulls. <laughs> nope, they're, they're still here. There's even more now. Whoa, what the hell is this? Simba? Is this some sort of meme I don't understand? You sick abomination! Die! Oops, looks like I lost my cool for a second. Sorry about that. Oh, what the hell is going on now? Moving on. This is a cave with... Don't do that. Alright, can someone, anyone, tell me what this is? I'm so confused and scared. Yo, uncalled for! But now it looks like we're about to take on some kind of important boss. Whoa! It's the other bootleg-looking Mario! The one from Kung Fu Mari! This is definitely a battle of the beasts. He's kind of a pain to deal with. But that won't stop us! And right when you think it's over, there's more! Now we're in the world of Somari, which is another Mario slash Sonic bootlegged game. Traveling an 8-bit version of Sonic's world, and still whacking. Excuse me now, what?! Who's the boss here? Is that Poe from Kung Fu Panda? I'll show you some real Kung Fu real quick. Come here! Everybody was Kung Fu Why is it that every time he gets hit, something happens to the screen? You know what, there's more to this game, but let's just go ahead and jump to the final boss. So, you know, granddad spoilers ahead. It's time we end this. We're now coming face to face with our greatest foe yet. Creepypasta Felix the Cat. Ahem, real quick for those who don't know. Felix the Cat was a black and white cartoon character made in 1919 during the silent film era of TV. Felix was the first ever anthropomorphic animal cartoon character seen doing fun and silly human-like activities. He's had many adventures with his secret bag of tricks that often help him in dangerous situations. And no matter what, he almost always ends up laughing. Felix the Cat was revolutionary. He was the catalyst for many popular cartoon characters characters, like Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled nightmare. Ah, Jesus! Yeah, this is basically the game, and I won't spoil the ending, even though it's nothing to really write home about. And I think this is about as much Grandad as I can handle. Wait, what's this? Grandad 2 and a half? No, maybe another day. There's honestly so much of these messed up, weird games that it's too much for one person to handle all at once. Without going insane, at least. The only question I have is... Why did this need to exist? Why did China insist on making this a thing? It's just the Flintstones! Don't be lazy, China! What the hell? And where did the term Granddad even come from? Is it because he's from the dinosaur age and there's a good chance he's one of our great 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 great, <gasps> great granddads? I'm playing more of it. This is the game. Long story short, it's just the Flintstones, man. Fuck this game. <laughs>